Shout out to the Pacers podcast. Hey. Turner. I think we bring this up every podcast. We have to talk about him. Saying we need somebody that Halliburton can lob it up to. And we need rebounds. So I'm finally at the point. Doesn't fit with this. Anymore. Hey! Time. Let's go. I like him. This awesome point guard who can just like assist everywhere. Yeah. Turner's not going to be at the three enough for that to matter. Yeah. And down low, he's basically a non-factor. No, man. It's just look. Look at the bigs we have in the league today. It, I mean, they're just active in the paint. They're do turn. You know, they're doing yeah. little fadeaway mid ranges. You know, they're 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 heavy on on the leg. They got they got the post moves and they're just big dogging people. That is not what Turner is. Turner it's, catch and shoot inside the three. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hate that when I say it out loud, but it's it true. sucks, man. It's like, true. He doesn't suck by any means. I think he'd be a great addition to a different team of a different play style. For us, he just yeah, he's a liability a little bit. I mean, I and here's a good thing about Turner. He had a great year last year, which I'm happy about because now he's worth something more. You yeah. know what I mean? So, speaking of worth something more, I love Buddy Hill. Let him come off the bench. Yeah. It doesn't matter our timeline with everybody else. Sure. So this is year to trade him because if he plays a bench role all year, yeah. his trade market. Okay, well you know that's what I'm yeah. So basically, trade talk. That's kind of what that's one of the points we had. Kind of the future. So, what do we want to happen next? I say get rid of Turner. Turner is all, Turner is our biggest trading asset we have. I think with him, if we can just t- get Turner for a different big, great. Or we put Turner out there with Heal. I don't want to get rid of Heal, but I, we, I will I for think, a great trade. You know who I really want? And it's in trade talks now? Oh, God. Oh, wait, wait. Can I guess? Yeah. Cat. Nope. I love that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it back. All right, go ahead. I, go ahead. I love that even more. What sure. I'm about to say. Sure, sure, sure. Paul George. Oh, God. Okay, here what we are we doing? Here. What year is it? What are we doing? I mean, cool, so, but. We, we need a small forward. Okay. Bye. Bye. He ain't coming back, bro. He's a trader, too, but. He's coming back if we make the offer in a couple of seconds. Was he, like, so, was he bitching about leaving? The Clippers, Kawhi, then they get a spot-up shooter like Buddy Hill, they get Turner, and we throw a first-round pick or two? It's not out of the... It's not, like, crazy. But I just don't love it. I just don't love it because... Or that I heard is that he was <laughs> just... He just, he just saying, get me out of Indiana. Yeah. Fuck Indiana. And what's that thing we talked about earlier? You gotta fucking want to be here. And he just... Force his way out. Well, I will say podcast with him. Sure, sure. Stuff before. Which I like. I like yeah. Paul George. I don't yeah. hate him, but you know. They were going to sign a really good player. We went to the Eastern Conference Finals sure. two years in a row. Then he got injured. That next year, they're going to sign a really good player. It's still a championship contender. Sure. And they didn't do it. They didn't want to spend the money. That was it. It wasn't like a pick saying this guy was a free agent. He didn't name the player. This guy was a free agent. One of like the top. This like, is a story from Paul. Yeah, it was like top three at his position. And it was only not because of money. Y'all ain't trying to win. I'm not mad at him for that. Yeah, when he said that, I feel especially when they're so close. It'd be one thing if he's like, I don't want to play with another star. And they're like, no, we don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, we're so close. Might be able to do it. At that time, LeBron might have left the heat. I kind of get it. But um, that being said, I said Cat, right? So what I saw is basically Cat's not on the trading block officially. But there's talk about him being traded. You know what I mean? Which I think is dumb for Minnesota. But. I mean. My rule, you can't, your two best players can't be big. And that's what they have. Right? For sure. Yeah. So, with that being said, the little Turner cat trade. Because they have Gobert. I don't care. If they paid for first and all that shit for Gobert. They great. fucked up. That's not my fault. That's theirs. What are they going to ask for cat? I don't know if we can give it up. Turner healed uh, picks. Maybe a little cash. A little cash real. Turner healed. I like Cat. I think Cat's awesome. Turner healed. The cat can like actually shoot. Like, a, legitimately big. three first round picks. And I don't know if I'm. I guess I will do one. We need a center. If we had a dominating center, yeah. dominating point guard, like yeah, that yeah. is a foundation. And I'm not even saying he's like dominating, but he is a fantastic. He's gonna player. get the t- ten rebounds. Yes, and That's he can shoot. Of, yeah. He can shoot. I've yeah. seen it. He's, he's nice. Yeah. So if they're willing to get rid of him. I'm pretty sure we watched a game where Cat he was just scoring just wet, threes wet. on us. He was, he's, he's what Turner wants to be. Don't tell that to Minnesota because I want him to take Turner from us. But uh, you know, but anyway, Cat would be cool. I'm not like all over Cat. Like, yo, this has got to be it. But I like it. Yeah, I like no, it. I like know? that a lot. So you know, 